Okay. Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today our question comes from Johan ZS2CX in South Africa. And he uh, wants to add a reflector element to a dipole on 40 meters. Um, what he's going to do is put up the dipole and then put parallel to it a slightly longer wire to create a reflector. And he wants to know where and how that should be done and what will happen to his dipole. Okay, we've got uh, the first rule of antennas to deal with here, which is that everything affects everything. Let's take a look at the whiteboard. This is a plan view, so we're going to look down from the top. Okay, here's your 40 meter dipole, and it's fed in the middle, okay? And some distance back here, you will put a somewhat longer wire, okay? And this wire will be like plus six inches plus six inches back here. And what you have created is a two element Yagi. Now that will affect the tuning of this uh, right here. So you are going to need to adjust the tuning. Now, as far as this distance right here, okay, this is uh, the distance, we'll call it D. Okay, you can go, oh, there are a million um, online design programs for Yagis. But let me tell you that probably if you're just going to put the reflector in there, that uh, about six inches longer on either side will get you going. And uh, the distance you can put up uh, is actually not going to be too terribly far. Uh, let's say 10 feet to 15 feet. Okay, not terribly far. Now, if you want, you can put up directors out here, okay, and again, look at the programs for designing this. If you hang this and make it out of wire, uh, you can point it in one direction, uh, like uh, you're in South Africa. Uh, Europe might be a good idea, but uh, also uh, don't forget North America, don't forget um, the Japan in places like that where there are lots of hams there are also lots of hams in uh, India that for us Americans are really hard to work but might be easier for you to do. Okay so you're going to start with the director there you will definitely find a strong directional characteristic this way. Now you'll still get some this way but they'll be 3 to 6 D B326 dB down from the stations that you get this way. Now there's no way of switching this in and out. If it's up there, it's up there, okay? Uh, this is the one that's the fed element, fed in the middle, and this is your uh, reflector. So that's, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that Yegis are, um, flexible. There is no hard and fast rule as to how far apart you put the elements and so on. You may want to get um, a, an antenna modeling program and you can play around with that with different uh, lengths and distances and so on and see what they affect. But remember that the modeling program is just that, just a model. It doesn't reflect your circumstances, your ground or whatever. I commend you for jumping in to trying a new type of antenna. And uh, although it will make, you know, you're used to your dipole being reasonably omnidirectional. You put the director behind it, it won't be omnidirectional anymore. So um, key rules for antennas, one, everything affects everything, okay? So if you're gonna change a little something like put a, a reflector behind uh, the driven element, it's going to change the resonant frequency of the driven element a little bit. Uh, second, height matters. You want to get this thing uh, up in the air if you can, uh, as much as you can. Um, ideally, it would be a half wavelength for uh, the uh, radiation uh, angle 
coming off of the front of that antenna. If you want to work DX, which I suspect you do, you would like to get that thing as high as possible in the air with a goal of about 66 feet um, or 40 meters. Um, no, 20 meters. 20 meters is 66 feet uh, in the air. And uh, good luck with it. Uh, we do have a giveaway coming up. Our giveaway for the month of February 2022 is this radio right here. It's marked Radiodity uh, and it's the GS5B. This is the equivalent of the uh, UV5R from Baofeng, which is nearly ubiquitous, except that the RF section has been fixed so that it does not put out the spurious signals that the UV5R is so famous for. So this can be yours. Uh, to uh, enter the giveaway, uh, please send a postcard, a QSL card, or a letter with a single sheet of paper giving your name, address, uh, call sign, and a phone number so I can get in touch with you and send it to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, uh, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. And we'll see who walks away with that. If you'd like to help support this program financially, you may do so by going to www.dkassler.com support. Please subscribe, uh, check out Patreon, Patreon and uh, like the video. And until we next meet, 73.